what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we can talk about scream 5 um the upcoming scream sequel slight reboot that's coming out in january of next year cinemacon came and went with the paramount panel this past thursday we didn't get that teaser or whatever we potentially were expecting to get they never promised us anything that's the important thing to always remember they never promised us anything but yes it was disappointing not even a slight mention of the film but we'll see what happens in october um i want to talk about revenge as it pertains to the scream franchise i think i kind of just slightly touched on this in other videos but i kind of just want to dive into them stepping away from that a bit in scream 5 because i see the comment sections my own comment sections i go and look at other people's videos 3c films killjoy jake i look at a lot of different channels and i know with this franchise revenge has always been at the center of a lot of motives you have Billy starting off the franchise. Billy, the primary killers anyway, Revenge. The lackeys, the sidekicks, they have some of the weaker motives always. Uh, or some of the more insane motives, I'll say. Billy, he was upset and frustrated and depressed about his parents splitting up. And so he had convinced him, his friend Stu to tag along with him. And they went on a Woodsboro killing spree a year after they had killed his girlfriend's mother, who was responsible for breaking up his parents and his mother leaving him as a result of that. Scream 2, said mother returns, wants revenge on Sydney for killing her son. And then you have her sidekick, Mickey, who is, is completely just insane and wants to have this blown up in a trial and wants the big spotlight to be on him so he can blame movies. He wanted that to be like a complete ordeal in trial and he got some type of sick joy out of that possibly happening. He he basically was established as being a killer prior to the events of Windsor College also. So I, I would have loved to have seen more things fleshed out about Mickey because I found him to be very interesting in terms of just being insane. Then Scream 3 comes, our only movie where we have one killer so far. Roman wants revenge because he feels Sydney had the life that he felt he should have had if Maureen at the time Rena Reynolds hadn't given him up for adoption and he's just jealous of Sydney because she's getting everything that he's failing to get she has the family she has fame because he's struggling to become famous as a director um, in in Hollywood and he's looking for a big break but he's struggling to get that and then in screen four we have Sydney's cousin who got tired of growing up in a family where she was always the attention somehow and just she was very jealous of this amassed fame that sydney had attained that she herself claims she never really wanted sydney never wanted that just just make that clear that's the difference between her and jill jill wanted this and for some reason through jill's childhood when she was always hearing about sydney that just led to her developing this type of hatred for the position Sydney has and she wanted this fame and she de devised this plan to of course get said fame by recreating the Woodsboro murders etc and becoming Sydney in and of herself and now with Scream 5 you know what did, what do they do now who who wants to get revenge on Sydney Prescott we know or we believe the story is focusing away from her a bit she's not going to be the primary focus is going to be on the carpenter sisters tara and sam carpenter played by melissa barrera and jenna ortega so the big question now is of course what what do these killers want now is there a successful way that they could stop doing these revenge angles because while i would very much like to see the character of the Stu, the Stu Maka brother scenario turned out to be true. And I know I've stated in the past, I believe that Stu Maka brother would end up being Jack Quaid. I've kind of rested with that. I'm still not against that happening. I would be satisfied if that were to happen. I'm not also going to pretend like I wouldn't like to see them successfully give us a motive that's not rooted in I want revenge against these characters because they did this to me or they did this to my family. Maybe for one of the killers, but the primary killer, I would like to see something that's not entirely related to revenge. Or if revenge is a part of it, don't let that be the only thing. Maybe throw in something else that they want out of this as it pertains to what we end up finding out throughout the film. Maybe some of the current state of what's happening in the world of screen that pertains to these characters. Something that is different from your mom slept with my dad or you're famous, I'm jealous because that's basically what Roman and Jill's motives were. 
you're famous i'm jealous i'm gonna get you for it <laughs> and you had the life that i should have had from romans in but then you have characters like mickey who were just in were just completely insane so like imagine mickey being the primary killer in scream 5 i'm just gonna throw this out there with a motive like that i could see a lot of people saying that that's a very weak motive i could see them saying that that's a weak motive only because of the fact that we as the audience have been conditioned to expect a revenge scenario as it pertains to the killer and why they want to go after sydney jill's motive wasn't entirely rooted in anything sydney had done directly wrong to her just more so her blaming sydney for emotions that she should re really be blaming herself for because she's the one who feels jealous towards her own cousin so like with a character like mickey with his motive if that had been the primary thing in scream 2 i could see a lot of people saying that was weak because it's not di directly rooted in just revenge but at the same time i would like to see something reminiscent of that where these people are just insane and their ulterior motives don't directly have to do with getting revenge towards anyone for doing anything wrong to them it's just them being insane and there's something going on within this universe that they think another ghost face killing spree is going to fix their issues i wouldn't mind seeing that if it's because remember any of these motives you can honestly sit down and say that a lot of the killers motives in this franchise you could you could see them as weak it's all about how they come off on screen if anything a lot of these motives they're completely ridiculous if we're being honest with ourselves none of these motives to pe people people like us who are sane <laughs> i'll just say that it's important to remember we're sane all of those motives that doesn't warrant going out there and doing all of this chaos and killing all of these people it doesn't warrant that but it's not that's not up to us we're not the insane one here it's up to that person as the killer I would love to see something that's not just rooted in revenge, but rooted in something else going on within this universe that they think that by producing another Ghostface killing spree will correct whatever error that they have or they feel is going on within the Scream universe itself. What that has to do with exactly, you could leave that down in the comment section below as it pertains to if you think they should get away from the revenge angle. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and this video in the description. I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.